Join Kids Hat Family. Dear, my stomach hurts a lot. Oh, Tofu, did you eat something bad again? Uh, no, I didn't. Don't worry, I'll take you to the doctor today. Tofu, have you seen the box of chocolates that I bought last week from the supermarket? Chocolates? Um, I don't know. Are you sure? I remember I kept it right here. Hey, Tofu, you don't have to lie to me. The chocolates were for you to eat. But do you know that too much greed can cause you harm? Just like eating excessive chocolates hurt your stomach. I'm sorry, Tia. I shouldn't have eaten all the chocolates. It's okay, Tofu. Do you want to hear a story? Yes, please. The Stork and the Crab Once upon a time, there lived an old stork near a fish pond. He was too old and weak to hunt for food any longer. So he came up with an idea to arrange his meals. He decided to sit near the pond with the teary eyes and look sad. Suddenly, a crab saw the sad stork and came up to talk to him. Hey stork! Why do you look so sad? Oh crab, I am afraid that this pond is going to dry up soon and I won't have any food left. Hence, I am planning to fly away and find another pond for myself. Oh no, that's terrible. You must save the animals in the pond as well when you leave. Of course, I will. I'll take some fish in my beak and fly them to another pond. Thank you, Stock. You're a true friend to all of us. Goodbye, my friend. I will come back soon and let you know if I found another pond. Goodbye, Mr. Stock. And so the Stock flew away and returned several days later with a fish in his beak. The Stock played very well at keeping up with the act. Hey, Stock. How did it go? Did you find another pond? Yes, I did, crab. Look, I found some delicious food. There is a lot of food for the other animals too. But there is a problem. Really? What is it? The other pond is a little far away and it's going to take me a few trips to take all of you there. Oh, it's fine if you save the inhabitants of this pond from dying. Very well then, I'll carry you all one by one every day. That's good news, Stock. We knew we could count on you. Thank you so much. The clever Stock had found a way to arrange his food. And so, one by one, every day he carried several fish in his beak to a nearby land and feasted on them. Finally, the day had come for the stork to carry the crab. And as they flew towards the new pond, the crab looked down and saw nothing but dry land with a lot of fish bones. He knew right away that the stork was very clever and greedy. He had tricked the inhabitants of the pond and feasted on them. Stock, why are there fish bones down there? Oh, those are just some fish that I dropped on the way. Don't worry about it. Really? You are nothing but a greedy stock. We trusted you and look what you've done to all of us. The furious crab snapped his claws and grabbed the stalk's throat. The stalk screamed with pain. Crab, what are you doing? Let me go. I trusted you, stalk. 
but you were just using us to satisfy your greed. The greedy stork fell to the ground and the crab immediately crawled back to the pond and informed the other inhabitants about the clever stork. From that day on, they never let the stork to even come near the pond. Wow, that was a great story, Tia. Yes, Tofu. The moral of this story is that too much greed is bad for you and will only cause you harm. I will never be greedy and eat all the chocolates again, Tia. I promise. <laughs> you should be a good boy, Tofu. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.